One of the powerful things you can do with Google Earth is to tell a story uh, in order to meet some sort of teaching objective. And your story could be telling the plot line of the novel that you're teaching, or it could be uh, telling the historical events behind a battle or a voyage if you're teaching history, for example. Or it could be that you just want to tell your own story uh, to your students and have them tell their life story to you. So there's various ways you can use this. Now, in order to do that, what you're going to do is use place marks, polygons, and paths, which are some of the tools which are available to you. And those are the three major tools that we'll be using today. And so for this example, what I'm going to do is tell the story of my teaching experience in Cameroon, and then I'm going to save that as a KMZ file and then upload it to uh, a Google site or a wiki. And in that way, you'll be able to see all the steps that are necessary for you to create your own story. So here we have Google Earth, and I'm going to navigate down to the location in which I'm going to tell my story. And I taught in a village called Campo Cameroon, which is right here. So the first thing I want to do is just outline the village. The easiest way to do that is to use the polygon. I'm going to click on it. I can click and hold on the top of the bar in order to move it around. And I just want to outline the general borders of the village so that people can see it. And I'm going to come up here and call it Campo Village Border. Now in here what I can do is I can play with the style and the view and the altitude. But for right now what I really want to do is just play with the style. So you can look here and I can actually fill it which blocks it out into white which isn't very useful for me. But if I wanted to come in and change the opacity, you could come in and say, okay, I just want it to be 25%, 35%, and you can see how it correspondingly shows that. So I'm going to say 100%, but then I just want it to be outlined. And I'm going to make my borders a little bit thicker. And I'm also going to drag these points out. These little points can be used to make the border larger or smaller. And I'm going to go back to my description and I'm going to say this is the border of Campo. I'm going to hit OK and now I've used a polygon to basically show the border of the village. Now what I want to do is tell a little bit of the story. So I'm going to go a little bit further down and I actually lived in this house for two years. So what I want to do is show the path that I walked from my house to the school. In order to do that, I'm going to click on Path. Same deal. I'm going to start at the, at the house in which I lived. And I walk down this road, walk down that road, past the soccer field and into my classroom and I'll just say my commute to school. Now I'm going to leave the color and style the same but you already know how to manipulate that. And I'll say in the description short walk. And I'm going to say OK. Now that didn't show up as well as I'd like it to so as you can see these data points that I'm starting to create are showing up in the left-hand naviga navigation window. So you see Camp Campo Village Border is here and then my commute to school is here. So I want to go back in and make this path a little bit thicker and easier to see. So I'm going to right click, get info on a PC, it'll probably say properties. I'm going to go into my style and color. I'm going to change this. I'm going to make it a nice blue and I'm going to increase the size. And there you go. You can see it much better now. Now what I want to do is I want to put a couple place marks down, one of which is going to contain an image or a photograph. Now, in order for an image or a photograph to show up within a place mark that you create in Google Earth, it has to already be online. It has to be on the internet in some form or fashion either on your Facebook profile or perhaps from a Google image search. 
but if it's just on your computer because it's a picture that you've taken, it will not show up until you've put it on the internet and therefore it will then have an address that you can use. So let's put a place mark down and I'm going to click on place mark and as you see it's got this blinking square around it with a bullseye and when it's like that I can click and hold and drag it around anywhere I want. So I'm going to put that on top of the classroom in which I taught and I'm going to say uh, six grade class and now we want to put the location of the image in here we're also going to have to add a little bit of code so the first thing I want to do is I want to go up and find an image that's already online so I'm going to use an image that I've posted to um, our, the cl our class website and I've got it in the bio section I've got a picture here of my sixth grade class I'm going to right click and I'm going to select properties and then it's going to show me the actual web address or location of that photograph. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go back to my Google Earth, and I'm going to paste it in my description section. Now, if we just do that, the image will not show up. So we have to do a little bit extra. We've got to put a little bit more code in there. So how we're going to do that is I'm going to show you the exact code you need to put in. And it's this. Basically, this is a little bit of computer programming that will tell the computer I want to have that image show up. So I've copied that code and I'm going to go back to my place mark. And here it is. And now I'm going to paste that code in there, and then I'm going to take the address where the image is located, and I'm going to put it between these quotation marks. That's important. So basically, when you're done, it'll look like this. It'll have this code, and then it'll have a quotation mark, and then this is the actual location of the photograph that you want to show up close your quote and quote, close the end of the code there. Now when I hit OK and I click on my place mark that image will then show up. And You can see it's got my description in here as well. Now if I wanted to go back in and change what that icon looked like I could right click again get info or properties if you're on a PC and I could come in and I could change that push pin to something more appropriate. So for this example, we'll just put a little person in there to represent the people in the class. And you can see it's changed immediately. And I can also go in and change the style and the color. Put a little description below it as well and just say this is my sixth grade class. I'm going to hit OK. Now we're done click on it. It's got this is my sixth grade class in the description. It's got my photograph which is showing up and now we're good to go.